So how'd you do, how'd you do it? Uh, I can't answer that because it's incriminating. We're on the internet now. It's Peter Coombe, everyone. Oh, oh we're on. Oh, yes, we're on. Oh, we're on. We're on. Yes. <laughs> we're having this private conversation. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about this later. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is amazing that you would be here in front of all these ten, no, not even ten people. There must be at uh, least mm. twelve and a half people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think of my wife? She's lovely. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> we, we, we were discussing how I said I said I, I can't tell I can't tell how old. Females are when they're in their twenties. I mean, I thought your wife Kirsty could have been. She yeah. could have been twenty-one, or she could have been twenty-eight. But I, I know she's twenty-five. She could be twenty-one, but, but she's she could, not. She, but, she could, <laughs> but she could have been. She could have been twenty-one. Yeah, absolutely. No, she she's gorgeous, I think. Oh, I think she's gorgeous too. Hey, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious me, uh, Mr. Peter Coombe, you're here for how many? How many fringes is this? I'm. I mean, is, is this my first or second or third fringe? Yeah. I, mean, I did. I've done the fringe. How many times? Uh, this is my third year, I think. Right, that's and that's, it's been wonderful. It's a, I, I don't probably think Adelaide doesn't quite. No, probably does. Sydney and Milton certainly aren't aware of how incredibly successful the Adelaide Fringe is. Mm. I often come across Sydney, but you just don't, just don't, just don't even know about it. Mm. And they make jokes about it overseas, and you kind of want to say to them, "Look, this is a really big, incredibly successful festival. Second biggest, in the second world. second biggest in the world after Edinburgh." And you, you even hear, I heard the Sydney comic and. In Edinburgh about three years ago, making jokes about the Adelaide Fringe, saying, "Oh, you know, there's only two acts on." Okay. I thought, well, I mean, that's, that's kind of obviously untrue, but it's not, it's not even very funny. It's so, mm. so wildly inaccurate; it doesn't even work. Mm. It's a joke. So I, I, I wanted to tell you, just delete that joke from your repertoire. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, right. And so only only three. But you've were well, you were uh, from Adelaide? Originally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I still live here. Oh, you still I, live here? I, I still live here. But I, but I do lo lots of stuff. You know, mm. Sydney, you? Sydney. I tra mm. travel a lot. But I'm doing seven. I'm doing seven. Um, Matinees. It's called this. This one this year. It's called Quirky Berserky, the Turkey from Turkey. Excellent. It's all about about Turkey called Quirky Berserky. He's from Turkey. Tell well, me, there's a really puppet involved then? No, there's not. Oh. No puppets. All right. Bit of a bit of tech. Bit of tech this year. I'm doing a bit of techy Ooh. things on the stage, and I'm also doing one a one-off evening show called uh, as opposed to um, Big Day Out. This is called Big Kids Night Out. Excellent. So this is a, a, a 11.15 show on March the 8th with the whole newspaper mama band. Yeah. And that'll be just incredibly fun. Okay, so the kid show is just you and a guitar? No, no, more no. than that. No, it's okay. me, 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 guitar, keyboard player. Mm -hmm. Also, I've got this gorgeous kids from a, a performing arts group called called Theatre Bugs. I reckon yeah. they're the, the best group in Adelaide. They're really lovely kids to work with. They're quite professional. How, how, and how they little oh, ones? Various, or they, they okay. go from being seven to about 14, 15. Aww. And they're delight, delightful to work with. They're really, I mean, that's also, I'm probably a bit biased, but they, mm. they're, they're, they're run by my daughter, Joni. Ah, so right. She's been running Theatre Bugs now for about 15 years, but they're a really professional, incredibly good bunch of kids to work with. And they get to show a lovely freshness, a visual look, look about it. And so they do dancing and dancing, trees? They do dancing, they, do, they sing some of the songs. Aww. I'm doing some duets, I'm doing some extra kids in certain songs. And they're just, um, they just get to show a lovely look. I've always mm. thought, I've always kind of found it weird that, that children performers who don't ever work with children on stage or don't mm. put children's on their albums, I think that's kind of odd. Mm. You, sort of, you sort of say, I am a children performer, but I never actually work with children. And I thought, about, huh? Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so much fun now. It's absurd, but anyway, so that, that's a. So yeah, theatre bugs will be in the, the seven matinees. We start and they're, they're not in the adult show. No, no. Well, actually, that they, they, you can come along the adult show. It's not like it's an eighteen plus thing in the pub where you can't come. It's in. at eleven fifteen in the, the garden. garden. In the garden. They're, if <laughs> anyone the is bringing their kids around, they are terrible parents. <laughs> That's horrible. I don't. I don't think we'll be overwhelmed by five year olds. No. <laughs> I, suspect, I suspect we won't. Is, that that wouldn't happen to be the Clipsal weekend, would it? No, I've, avo oh. I've, I've avoided the clips. So I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to get a little protest movement right here now. I think it's rather sad that we have our wonderful fringe interrupted by cars travelling at 300 k's an hour and helicopters. I, I think it's rather pathetic, actually. Yeah. I tried very hard to get the whole thing changed, but the vested interests are just too powerful. Yeah, there's a lot of you're money never, in, you're not in both. Change. Yeah, and. And, but I think, I just think we ought to really value our friends. It's a very special festival, extraordinarily yeah. successful. It's a shame that they're both in the same spot. Like if the Fringe was more kind of maybe west of the city or something, then it, it wouldn't be as yeah. much of a problem. But That's right, they're separated by yeah. distance. But uh, last year I had to cancel a kid show because it was like thirty meters from the track. Yeah, well, and it was like, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's fun when you're trying to. So you end up going. Yeah. Yeah, we get this right. Yeah. Uh, so um, your adult shows. 
they get nuts, right? They do, they do. They, that's a good way of putting it, they get nuts, yeah. Because the first time, like I hadn't seen you since I was at school and stuff, and then the first time was at a Schutzenfest yeah. one time, and I only caught the tail end of it. That was the beginning of it. Yeah, and I heard, oh my God, Peter That Cooper's was the in... very first show. Yeah. You caught the very beginning of this whole thing of e doing evening, what I call renaissance shows. Yeah, and so I got a program and I saw Peter Cooper, he's got like 10 minutes left, and I run across <laughs> the, the thing, and all I can see is people like moshing the newspaper mama. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And by the time I got there, it was all over. Well, that's what'll tend to happen on March the 8th. But when, once the whole band's in there, and there's this great venue called Vagabond, which is yep. in the Garden of Unearth. Yeah. Dance, and that's what they tend to do. And, and they simply sing everything. What, one of the myths about the evening show is some people think, oh, it's just the alcohol talking. And at Schutzenfest, it kind of was in a way. <laughs> yeah. But most, most of the shows I've done, I've done about 65 of these mm. evening shows. Most of the shows, the alcohol, it's kind of a small factor. I mean, they've had two or three drinks, but they're, they're not smashed. They haven't had 10. Mm. And anyone who has too much is not popular. They're trying to get pushed to the back. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they become annoying, really. Mm. So the ones that come to the front, they're kind of mellow, happy, three glasses of wine rather than 12. And it's just amazing to hear these songs after so many years. It's, yes, it's lovely. They're, and they're, something they're, in they're your head gorgeous. where you still remember the words, it's yeah. so exciting. Well, do you, know, do you know why that is? If, why? If you, if you kind of rewind back to your childhood, when you love something as a five-year-old child, you don't just play that CD or watch that video five times, like what we might have done. You, you literally watch it a hundred times, mm. yeah, literally a hundred times. You hear it in the car, you hear it when you go to bed, mm -hmm. you put it on the morning, you put it on the weekend, so you end up so what happens, I think, that when they come to these evening shows, they kind of don't even know what's going to happen. But, but when they start hearing the songs like Tadpole Blues, Syntax Era, Newspaper Mama, Wash Your Face, No Juice, Toffee Apple, Juicy Juicy Greengrass, they're kind of a bit amazed that they remember the words. I think mm. they, they themselves aren't quite sure why they remember them so clearly. It, it's because they've become imprinted on their brains. So they've been there, they're sitting there for the last 20 years. It's gorgeous, it's really, I, I love it. If love you had it. at that time written a song called Give Me $20 When You See Me Next, <laughs> people would just be throwing money at you. <laughs> yes, good, good thinking. Next time, next time you do it. So um, ha has there ever been any kind of like violence-y kind of like, oh, people would just be in such a good mood, they uh, wouldn't have to. The, the mood's always terrific. You get, they said, you get the occasional person who comes who's, who's smashed. Mm. And they kind of spoil it, and they're, they're, they're not they're not popular. Yeah, but they would one minor incident. This is a brilliant one at, at the Garvin Adelaide mm. here about three years ago. Someone someone threw a whole glass a whole glass of beer hit my drummer in the eye. Oh, that, oh, that was wow. a bit nasty. But being a real pro, Steve has carried on anyway. I, yes. I, I, I didn't know it happened after, after the gig. All right, but uh, but no. In to answer your question, mm. in the main, they're really they're lovely. The it's just joy, like, isn't like it? Like terrific. It's like a sort of a. It's like, a, it's like a religious event without the religion. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of joyous. Yeah, great. Awesome. Right, well, we need to uh, we need to play a show and then play a quick game with you. So uh, tell us uh, when and where the shows are again. Should I be scared? No, it's an easy well, one. Well, show though. There are seven shows called Quirky Berserky, the mm -hmm. Turkey from Turkey. They're on 2.30 every weekend, Saturday, Sunday, except except the car race weekend. Okay. Oh, and we're doing a special one the Monday holiday as well, which mm -hmm. I think is the 11th. Yep. And the big kids night out with the newspaper mama band is at 11.15 in the Vagabond, in the garden as well. They're all mm -hmm. in the same venue, the yeah. garden. 11.15, uh, Friday night, March the 8th. With and the full band. this band is a very hot little band. The guitar player in my band is a guy called Sam Lesky, one of the few left-handed guitar players around. Oh, yeah. Really, he's, he's just going to be a star. Well, he already, he's already been a star thing already. Mm. He, he plays with everyone, Sam, so he plays with me too, so it's nice. Very nice. Um, Excellent. We have a game, it is called uh, something about Pictionary or something. What is it? The drawing <laughs> one. Awesome Doodles. Okay. Wow, we could have named that better, surely. Do I, do I, do I awesome Doodles? intelligent now? No, not at all. Oh, good. No, not on this show. Awesome you, you can, you can so, uh, Maz has, he can draw on us some. You can see his little oh. mouse thing there on the screen. So he's going to draw something, you just have to guess what it is. Oh, okay, you're right. Uh, yeah. Does it involve us at all? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can guess too if you like. No, I mean like the drawing. So he has no. to ignore us. Okay. Oh, and you have 60 seconds to do it. Do we, do we get clues? Uh, if you ask nicely. Who do I ask? You would. Don't you ask would me, him. I have no idea. Listen, Coom. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing too. I owe you nothing from my childhood. <laughs> I'm not even right. supposed to be here, I'm just sitting here. Guess what it is. Okay. Okay, yeah. so, okay, well, here we go. That's the thing. Oh, I think it's you. Is it an arrow pointing to you? It's no. An right. it's, it's, it's an arrow. It's hey, maybe we should it's ask a clue. Is it like a movie or a. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. Right. Oh I know what it is. Is it a movie that I would have possibly seen? Yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. I think it's would, would it have been. Titanic. No. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yes, yes, yes. You, you've got to. It's got to be Titanic, surely. It's it? got to be Kate Winslet, isn't it? That yeah. looks like Kate Winslet. She's already. She's already. She's standing on the, on, on the ship. No, there's hang a. On. Okay. No, it's not. No, it's not Titanic. Okay. Is there a man holding a squirrel? Uh, sound of music. Oh, I know what it is. Not sound of music? 
Oh, right. I know what it is. Julie Andrews? No, no. Kids I know what it is. It's the best movie. Oh, hang on. Sun, sun, uh, sun, the sun shining down on the. That's a monkey. Oh, how are you going to do it? Uh, a monkey hiding it. Not, not a monkey. Somebody start singing. It? Ice cream. No, Sibania! Yeah. Sibania! I don't reckon I've seen it. <laughs> you never ever I, 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 I have a feeling I've been into it. It's a Disney movie. When you sing, I don't think I've seen it. Oh, that's just my singing. You probably yeah. have. I like oh. it. I, I see. I don't, I don't know the that's music. That's Rock and I've seen. I've seen the show. I've seen the live show, but I've only ever heard that music once, really. So ah, really, it hasn't kind of stuck in my head. I've only heard Elton it once, John. as opposed to a hundred times. Yes, they, they got their business model all wrong. <laughs> that's right. Right. Peter Coombe is doing shows on the weekends for kids during the day. Uh, the February the eighth or ninth. February twenty third and twenty fourth. March the. Uh, ma- ma- March the eighth. Eighth for the, the, the kids show. Kids night out. Yeah. Please thank your childhood. It's Peter Coombe. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back very soon.